So here's the deal. I lost the intro to my video that I'm making this morning or earlier today. But I just basically wanted to give some type of introduction of what was going on because the rest of the clips are kind of jumping into and they don't really make sense. So I just wanted to explain that we're doing an install video on my uh, SS1 LE. We're actually doing our lower and upper front grill install. And it's not a how-to guide or how we're going to get it done or how it's going to go into the car. It's more of a just a before and after clip. Uh, me working on my car, more of a time lapse type thing. Um, if you want an actual uh, install guide, uh, I watched Lethal Camaro and Hammer Down Motorsports. Their install guides were actually pretty spot on. And it's actually kind of good that I'm doing this now after I've already done the install. I can say like their guides were on point. They did with their, they explained it the best way in their own way, both each individually. So um, like I said, I would check that out. But um, like I said, this is just an install guide. The next few clips wouldn't really make sense without me doing this now. So there we go. Let's get into it. All right, so they came in these two big boxes, one from ACS Composites. The other one is from that Camaro guy. Um, here are the grills. I got them set up on this mat so I don't make sure everything doesn't get scratched up. But I just want to explain real quick. This is a lower grill, 50th anniversary, so it's got a little different design. I threw a 1LE badge on it to make mine a little different because it's not just SS. That's how I feel about them. But anyway, this is a official GM product. So this one should fit pretty good. Shouldn't have any problems with this. This is the upper grill flow tie, but this is for a Z01 1LE. Um, it's from ACS Composite. This one's from ACS Composites. And like I said, it's the Z01 1LE design. Um, if you get just a Z01, it actually, I think, matches this one pretty well. The Z01 1LE has a little bit different design. I wanted to make mine a little bit different. But as you can see, the uh, they don't match up. But the reason I wanted to point this out is because this is the ACS composite. And it's designed for an SS. Nobody's really 100% sure if the, uh, a GM Z01 1LE upper grill will fit. I know Fast Tech Performance was testing it out, but ACS kind of pushed this out quicker, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, we're going to see if it, this fits the way it should. Like I said, this is a true aftermarket part. This is OEM GM. So we're just going to get into the install. Hopefully everything's smooth. Like I said, it's going to be more of a time lapse. We're going to get the car taken apart, front end, taking off the car. Uh, take the tow hook off. We're gonna get everything jacked up. We're just gonna time lapse. I might stop and explain some things. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So, I had to cut the video short or cut some of it out because I was having some technical difficulties and I just didn't want to waste camera time, waste camera battery, just filming nothing pretty much. Um, like I said, if you want to see how it's installed, you can just look it up uh, Lethal Camaro or Hammer Down Motorsports. But anyway, here we go. We got it on now. I like it. I like the way it looks. We still got to button some things up. Still got to put everything on, test the lights. Everything works now. So we're good in that department. Man, I love that. But I just wanted to show you that we got it back on. We're still getting it together. 
Hopefully I can continue my time lapse process, but I just wanted to give you a quick update. You're like, how to you get it on? Didn't explain it, but there it is. All right, so I got the car buttoned up, put back together. So we're going to go get a quick walk around of the car, check it out. Um, here it is. Got to let the magnetic ride settle a little bit. Still sitting pretty high. But here's the lower and front grill. That, like I said, this is the ZL1 1 Lee front grill design with the flow tie. The 50th anniversary lower 1 Lee logo. Now we're not missing that big hole for the tow hook. And I like it. I like it. Um, I wouldn't call this the easiest install in the world. It's definitely not super tough. It is, you have to be patient. It is time consuming, I would say. I did this pretty much on my own. Uh, my dad helped me out a little bit, but like I said, you do have to be patient. Patient and you gotta be careful. You don't wanna scratch the paint. You don't, won't, don't wanna lose any of those bolts. The GM lower came with extra bolts and everything, like extra bolts and clips and everything. I don't know if the aftermarket does the same way, but GM sent all the hardware you need but we'll get a quick walk around of the car magna flows but yeah that's pretty much it like i said i like it a lot slowly but surely getting the car to the way i want it to look making it my own just gotta love that flow time gotta love it but anyway we're gonna get the car back inside and i'm gonna finish this video up Got the car in the garage. I just wanted to tell everyone uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, like this video, like it, comment, share, tell me what you did like, tell me what you didn't like. Uh, subscribe to the channel, help me build my channel. I got more content coming. Going to Attitude Street Cars. Sometime this week, we're gonna get some dyno videos, some stuff they got going on up there. And more of the car, the truck, my dash truck, all that good stuff. So if you like this, just make sure you subscribe so you can continue to tag along as we keep going and building this channel um i appreciate you for watching everyone have a good day